So today we're going to check out the car that everybody has been waiting for. Normally I don't like review cars on my channel, but today we're checking out the new Volvo. I feel it could be a cool idea to do this with a vlog format. Because me and my dearly beloved neighbor Joachim, we are no car experts whatsoever. Or maybe you're an expert in cars, I don't no. know. No, me either. But we're going to check it out. So, we actually just got to Sweden from the airport just to check out the new Volvo. You're so full of shit. Yeah, I am. We live, <laughs> live in Sweden and it's only a 10 minute drive to the place where the new car is. And only 10 minute drive to the airport. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen this car in reality yet, just pictures and so on, so I'm really psyched. I haven't even seen a picture of it, so... Oh, because you're so interested. Yes. Not. <laughs> anyway, we're driving there in the dirtiest Volvo in Europe. My Volvo XC70 from 2016. Let's go! made it here but it's raining so we're not going yes. to be able to get any shots with the drone right so this is the first time I see it live get out of the way it is so cool It's exactly like my Renault, Renault Megane. I love this with new cars, premium cars, you open the door. I don't know if you can hear that sound, but it's so silent. No, it's electric, you have to Damn pull me. the lever. Slowly. Where are you going? I'm going to the M position. So I wonder if it this sun has like a sleeping position. I think it has the pilot assist. It pretty much drives itself. So you can sleep for like 30 seconds. Actually, I did a review once of the V90, the regular one, uh, last summer. You can check it out here if you find this part too boring. <laughs> so from what I heard is that nobody has gotten to test drive this car and still it like sold out. So it's like six month delivery time. That's very good for Volvo. Okay, are they curly stunned? We are queued to drive the car, so we're going to eat some food, free food again at Volvo, like the last time in this video. It's always awesome. Free food is free food. So the test cars are coming in here, so I don't think we're going to have the time to eat for now. I think we're going to drive first and eat later. Yeah, fine by me. So you got this covered? Okay, yeah. 100%. Yeah, it's gonna be crowded today. For sure. The first guy who crashed the car, I'm gonna <laughs> kick his ass. Because then the rest of us would get to drive. <laughs> but you're gonna make sure that doesn't yeah. happen, right? It's my job to make sure every car makes it in safe and sound. And beat up the guy who crashes the yeah, car, destroying it. the day for everybody exactly. else. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. I'm confident you will succeed. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah. 50-50 <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hello? Tack. Ja, hej. We're up to drive. Så vill jag hjälpa. Ja. Jag lovar att inte krascha förrän på slutet. <laughs> I just told them we're going straight to the ferry to Russia to sell this car. Chop chop. Perfekt. <laughs> Tack. Tack. Hej Siri. Timer 30 minuter. They give us 30 minutes. Let's make the most of it. Let's fire it up. Right. So 
always the first thing that comes to mind for me that have a XC70 is that the servo is super light. You can like steer with one finger, which is really nice. Because on my XC70 it's kind of hard. It is, it's very heavy to steer with compared. So some of the cars like change how heavy this servo is depending on your speed when you're driving yeah but here we go oh rattvärmare <laughs> Okay, so we're on our way up on the highway. This is a pretty hard turn and it goes really smooth for being a cross-country car. I feel that my XC70 is a bit more wobbly uh, when you take hard turns. And one thing that I really like that I don't have on my old car, pretty old new car, is the heads-up display. As you can see the speed and the latest uh, the speed limit sign. So it says 80. And it says 109, I mean it says 80 on the other one as well. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> See you later. We're going to Russia. I mean, the interior is pretty much the same as the XC90 and the V90. It's the same kind of feeling. Um, but Volvo for sure has uh, stepped up the premium feeling of this car compared to my car. And with that the price goes up as well. Uh, the biggest problem I have right now is that I really don't have any idea how I turn off the, the steering wheel heater figure it out it should be like a bottom somewhere I don't know what should we try more maybe does this one have pilot assist, you think? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, but how? Yeah, pilot assist, here we go. So it's supposed to turn green, but I guess it has to see like clear lines of the road to activate. And at the moment it does not. Here is pilot assist. This is really scary, because it's, it's failing us. <laughs> it's totally failing us. But it's not the car's fault. There wasn't really any lines to follow. But driving with pilot assist, uh, which is like a fake version of Tesla's autopilot, is really scary, but uh, also a lot of fun. But it's, it takes some time getting used to. And if the car cannot spot the lines on the, on the road, it has nothing to go on. I'm not sure entirely how the Tesla does it. So how do you feel about me not driving here, Joachim? It feels a bit, little bit scary. You think? Are you scared, Joachim? <laughs> yeah, when you don't hold your hands on the steering wheel. And, uh, and when it failed. Okay, so here we go. It's not me anymore. How does this feel, Joachim? <laughs> Don't do this in a turn when you're on the way up to the highway. You should actually do it when... Uh... <laughs> it feels scary! Yeah, when it's, when it's pretty much straightforward. I do not think that you are allowed to use this in, uh, in anything else than straightforward driving, okay? It plays beautiful music when you don't have the seat belt on. So, you enjoy the music? 
Awesome, right? Yeah, per oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy the music. Yeah, you enjoy this music. Next time, put on your seatbelt, please. Yeah, that, me that concludes this test drive, and the time to get some free food. Thank you, Volvo, again. Hey, don't forget to take the GoPro. It's not included in the standard gear. Not? <laughs> not? Take it down. Fuck. Caught you to bad time there. Mm -hmm. So we accidentally just crashed a drone on your car. So when I said you're supposed to beat the guy who destroys the car, mm -hmm. that did not include me. Okay. Yeah. I only drive Volvo for the free food, that's the truth. That's it for today guys, hope you liked this video. We usually don't go about cars, but today we did, so that was great. And also you can say thank you to my neighbor and co-driver. Good job. Thank you. Really impressive drone flying there. Yeah, but that was you. I don't even own the drone. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Oh, 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 oh,